Hey crew, Conrad coming at you with a classified ad review on this Suspensions Unlimited 4 seat ultralight. I'll tell you, this is one of my favorite manufacturers in the sand car world. And not only that, but it's set up with my favorite drivetrain and engine package, right? Mendiola and Subaru. But I'll tell you what, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's jump into the notes. And here we go. Suffice to say, there's not a lot here, but we'll work with what we got. This is brought to you by Sandcar Buy Sell crew member Bobby Lip. The location, Wichita, Kansas. Where do you dune when you're in Wichita? I don't know. Asking $22,500. What do we have? A 2005 Suspensions Unlimited Ultralight Subaru 2.5 Turbo built by Outfront Motorsports. Mendiola 2D just refreshed in only one trip. It has a Haltech standalone ECU and it runs on 110. This car is ready to go. I've only had it out one time in the last three years. I can help organize shipping. I have a connection. So yeah, even though this car is in Wichita, Maybe you're in Idaho or, you know, down here in the Southwest and go to Glamis or Dumont or whatnot. We get this car shipped out for you, right? Bobby will be able to help you out. Okay, so enough about that. Let's jump inside and take a closer look. All right, so I mentioned I'm a fan of super lightweight cars. And with this being an ultralight, what does that mean to you? Well, this chassis package that Suspensions Unlimited offer or turnkey cars was built to be light. So what do we mean on that? We've got a five link rear suspension system on that, a single coilover in the back, a single coilover in the front, Mendiola transmission with a four cylinder Subaru. Everything you need and nothing you don't, right? So this is not really like a bare bones or no frill sand car. It just happens to be set up perfectly for the dunes in my opinion i but you know who am i let's jump into the photos and see what we've got so straight away overall design of these cars the a pillar to the b pillar to the c pillar just really nice open cockpit on that the lacing that we've got coming down to the front and again the nose look at this if you should be so unlucky to endo this car look at all the clearance you have in the front you're not gonna stick it into the ground. And I do see a set of side steps. Awesome, so it's actually easy to get in and out. Okay, what else do we see? Full set of beadlock wheels, five lugs, disc brakes up in the front, light bar, full top, looks like a little bit of a wing on there as well. And next. All right, so three quarter shot passenger side. So let's see what we've got for lighting. It looks like a couple of cube lights down here at your a pillar you've got an overhead light bar and it looks like is that one or two lights down here at the bottom so you're definitely going to have enough illumination going out at night i've also always loved the suspensions unlimited front setup right with the links coming back here and then bolted to the frame just a really clean simple setup and i just love the overall look especially when these things are all chromed out right and let's see do i see anything else on that nope next all right, so let's jump into the business end of things. So what I noticed straight away, I mentioned earlier, we have a single shock in the front, but in the rear, we do have a single shock with a piggyback reservoir. And I particularly like the piggybacks because then you don't have to run the the little tube down here mounted to the frame with the braided line and all that. It's just a really clean setup. And if you don't know what a five link suspension system is, that's right here. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we don't have a traditional trailing arm design on that. And one of the reasons for this is ultra light, right? Another thing I see poking out, Outback Motorsports. So what do we have? Oh, out front, sorry, John. This was built when it was still called Outback, I gather. But we have an intercooler right here. It looks like a chrome and polished package on the Subaru. We've got the turbo sticking out the back here. Rear wing has some lights built in. We've got, looks like a wing trunk on there with another tail light built in, which is, you know, pretty much, I bet you this was a turnkey suspensions unlimited car actually now that i think about it i've always dug how suspensions unlimited put the branding on their car using a laser jet or water jet or something along those lines but really really clean on that oh and then once we get into the floor i'll show you another thing that's really cool too but otherwise i guess that's all i see next all right so speaking of interior how about we just jump in and take a look at it so what do i see straight away really nice suspension seats on this low backs with an adjustable headrest so you can raise these up and down looks like we've got a full set of five point harnesses in there mm, let's see some walker brakes or steering brakes whichever you call them right in here between the seats which is dual handled if you don't know how those work you pull up on the left handle to drag the driver's side rear tire and you pull up on the right handle to drag the passenger side rear tire. I know most of you guys know that, but some folks don't, so I wanted to throw that out there. Here we go, as mentioning earlier, suspension's unlimited. What's kind of neat about this is when you're out in the dunes and the sun is shining on your car, it reads it on the sand, right, underneath. I, I've just always liked that, liked that touch. What else do we have here? Passenger side grab handle that's been chromed, welded on, taped off before powder coat. Nice. Again, just little things. Looks like a, well, I don't know what kind of steering wheel that is, but a leather wrapped steering wheel, this dash, 
classic for the era. We got three gauges in it, and then a couple more gauges up here on the top. And what else do we see? CNC pedal assembly. Oh, and then the dead pedal. Again, just like I mentioned about the chrome here. Chromed dead pedal. So you chrome the piece or polish it or stainless, weld it to the frame, tape it off before powder. Always super, super cool. Get a good idea of the side step on here. Here's our cube light. Look at this front arm. Just beautiful. I really dig it. All right, I think that's all I see on this. Let's get into the next. All right, so now on to the engine. So this is an Outback or Outfront Motorsports built engine. John built some fantastic engines for the sand dune industry, so you can't go wrong with this with this setup, right? And I always like it when John puts these uh, blow-off valves on that are super loud, so when you're going up the hill and you're banging gears, like it just makes all sorts of racket. It's a lot of fun. Looks like we've got his chrome and polish package with the alternator, with the chrome valve covers. You know, I don't have a build sheet on the engine on what's done with the internals, as far as cranking rods and all those things, you'll have to reach out to the owner of this car to see what the uh, what the full specs on it are. But I can tell you this, if it's built by Outback, it's built right. And then let's see, what do we have? Oh, here's the wing trunk. So we have, do have a couple of clips on here to flip that up to throw your gloves and goggles and all the things in. We've got a radiator back here right behind the seats. And you can't see it. This is actually an aluminum scoop that helps force the air down into the radiator. I really like the location on that. And plus the fuel cell is going to be hidden somewhere under here also so otherwise on this one i guess that's about all i see let's jump into the next all right so now we've got the driver's side rear three-quarter view and i took a closer look at the paddle so it looks like it's got some extreme revolution paddles on it i couldn't read the size sand tires unlimited razorbacks up in the front these are going to be 15 inch wheel setup check out the bracing underneath for the a-arm on that that was something that popped out to me but otherwise it looks like it's a Pretty straightforward built machine, very clean, lots of fun, easy to drive, lightweight. Okay, I think that's all I got on this, let's check. Yep, that's all the photos we have, folks, but I'll tell you what, everything that we've shared so far can tell you that this is an absolutely epic dune vehicle, no matter what dune complex you happen to go to. Let's see, this was Wichita, Kansas. He's asking $22,500 for this car. I don't know, man, it seems like a good deal to me, but you're definitely gonna wanna hit him up. For more information on this car, leave a comment in the section below. Log into Facebook, Sand Car Buy Sell Crew, and ask there, and we'll get you in touch with the fellow that's selling this car. But otherwise, we'll go ahead and close this out by saying, Thank you for watching. See you in the dunes.